dark skin nigga for a while. Key Drake. Key Drake. Hello guys. Welcome to Sports. I'm your host, Kifwe Jabulo Mashang, and this is. Okay, you already know who it is, but yeah. Okay, so on today's topic, we're gonna speak about Arsenal, the takeover. Spotify owner wants to buy Arsenal. What are your thoughts about that? He ain't gonna buy Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> Rope boys, That's facts. He yeah. isn't gonna buy Arsenal. Arsenal's worth over two billion pounds. Pounds, pounds. yes, pounds. pounds. He is willing to put in one point eight billion pounds with Terry Henry. Uh, who's this Brick Camp? And I don't know who the other dude is. But Vieira. like Vieira, oh put yeah. Them, put some No, but respect. I don't remember. But I don't remember put though. Some... I don't remember. I, I don't remember. Oh, now so, you know. Yeah. So we all know that between Vieira, Big Camp, and Henri, right? They ain't that I, much I of money. I think it's been said day. that they're just gonna be put on the board. <laughs> oh, He's yeah. gonna put them on the board. They're not gonna buy now, eh? Ah, maybe. I put we put in a hundred mil. A hundred mil. Ah, oh. uh, they've all made close to a hundred mil, I think. That's putting all of their money down on us now. Nah. That's no. a good asset, nah. though, but anyway. No, they're just gonna be on the board. Oh, and that they're just gonna be on the board. So how do you feel about that? Like, what? What are your thoughts on Arsenal getting a new owner? Any Arsenal fan in their right mind wants Kranka out. That's facts. Like, <laughs> you should not want that dude on. Like, yo. Oh. But he's running his NFL team properly. That's the because he's part. using the money he gets from Arsenal to fund <laughs> that thing. <laughs> like, he's just milking Arsenal because Arsenal on the players. We're not getting the the manager's not getting the players he wants because why? Because the money that's supposed to stay at the club goes to the NFL club. Like, bruh, what are you doing here? Get out of here, man. Get out. <laughs> it's, it's crazy, right? You have the same problem that I have. I'm like, okay. Remember when we, when we were speaking about this, I was like, the only way someone's going to buy Manchester United if two billionaires come together and be like, I'm going to go half and you go half, or I'm going to go 60, you go 30, 40, or... I'm going to go 70, you go 30, right? I think that's the same case that has to happen with Arsenal. By the way, Glazer's out, yeah? Woodward's already out. When one when, when income poop gone, the arrest need to follow. You get me, fam? So, yeah, I really I don't need... think it's going to happen. The whole, like, two billionaires come together. Because I'm hoping that... Don't go to Ishbra. The when dude that owns Everton used to own uh, 30% of Arsenal. He wanted to actually buy Arsenal. Because dude doesn't want to buy But didn't want to sell. He and doesn't even want to sell. Even now, I don't think he's going to want to sell because of the whole Super League. Him and the Glazers aren't going to sell. Like, no, yo, gonna sell. I'm hoping that they leave. But reality, when I look at everything, I'm like, gonna nah, sell. I'm not going to sell. These people run down Tampa. You, do you know that Tampa Bay... Do you know what Skip Bayless calls them? The Tampa Bay Suckaneers. <laughs> because yeah. they used to suck. That oh, was yeah, their nah, first... You see, now all of a sudden, they, they came good. So, like, because they, they spend money, yeah, that they get from Not English true. clubs. As they get, he gets the money from the English club and funds whatever he does that side. That's fact. They make, I don't know why the places or even Crunk, okay, okay, Kranka was getting money and then he was building a stadium, right? That's that's a bit understandable. The Glazers haven't built a stadium. I mean, I mean, like they haven't built a stadium. Are you making an excuse that he, because he built a stadium, he can take money out of I'm the, not, the club? I'm not saying. I'm saying it's a bit understandable. No, that's not just understandable. Bit, no, said, that's not understandable. Dude, look at what no, the Glazers... No, shove it up for the okay. time. Look at what the Glazers did. They get money from Tampa Bay. Wow. Okay, they make like... Uh, there's a... Oh, NFL clubs always make almost always make a profit except for like last season. Yeah. So imagine they get that money and then they siphon out money from Manchester United. They're like, oh, we need dividends. Like, bro, you you guys don't need dividends. Dividends for what? For the club for you guys running the club down the drain. They've taken out what? Over a billion pounds in Man United. 
how much has Kronka taken out? I don't know. But it ain't reaching a billion. No, it's not reaching a billion, but still, you sh- you can't, you shouldn't be taking money out of it. Yeah, but that's why I'm because saying you first, guys have a better situation, though. If we were getting the players that we wanted, I wouldn't have a problem with them taking money out. That's, yeah, yeah, but that's why I'm saying. Unlike you guys, you guys get the players you guys are. So if I was in your guys' shoes nah. as fans, I'd be like, I'd be like, eh, out to the that, but I'd be like, oh, okay, could be worse. When, Look at us. Okay, yeah, but we're not actually in a bet. In no, terms of how much better. money that the owners have taken out, you guys are in a better position. But in terms of owners spending money in, in the, the club, transfer, in you the guys club. are in a better position. No, but do you know what the Glazers do? When they are at the top four, they'll spend over 100 million just to get back into the Champions League. And then now, when they're back into the Champions League, they'd spend like 60 million pounds. I wouldn't or know what like they that. do in the Champions League because <laughs> we haven't been in the Champions League since I don't know when. And if we are in the Champions League, yeah. we get out of there fast. We got That's out in the group stages. I mean, we, we two games. Yo, man, Ole. Guys had two games At just least. to get one draw. Do and you know Arsenal and, and European football? Yo, Chini. You guys have been in Europe for three years now. Or two. There's two, man. Uh-uh. No. Since can't it, be two. It's can't Emery, be two. Emery's first season. He, he wasn't went, in the... He wasn't in... in yeah, I know. He was Europa. Europa. He wanted to win it. Didn't win it. And then and you then guys fired him in the then, second. And then it's Arteta. And then now and then it's three Arteta. seasons. Damn, yeah. it's three seasons. Yeah, That's a, a long, long time. time. Six long. years. But... This is six. With yeah. With Arteta and like... Um, okay, but let's keep to the owners, yeah? So, yeah, we really need you. Oh, I really need new owners, man, for my club. Oh, Lord, your help. club is not going through what I'm going through. Your club doesn't, you don't go and go. We she number nine, number nine, number nine. Yo, uh, hey, but us, at it is building something though. What? The youth that he's bringing through. Because he's Arteta, forced no, to do Arteta that. might not be the manager that takes you guys somewhere. But I don't, I don't he's have going a problem to be with the, no, He's going to be the building blocks. He's going to offer, he's going to provide the building blocks for the next manager. Because what I see is going, going to happen is the Arsenal board are going to need a scapegoat very soon. The scapegoat is the very easiest option is the is almost always the coach. So they're going to get him I don't out. think they're going to change him because you know why? Because he has support of the dressing room. He hasn't lost the dressing room. So they might start to be like, nah, if this, because they all of the players have been saying trust the process. So if you're kicking him out, you can, first of all, everyone can see that they aren't doing anything to help the position. That's facts. So if you kick him out and you're like, ah, I go, then I don't think the players are going to let that fly. I don't know. I, I I wouldn't let that fly. If I if I was there in that chasing room, I wouldn't let that fly. I'd be like, huh? you'll see what I'm going to do for the next manager. <laughs> Nothing. And it's not like it's the next manager's fault, but it's the board's fault because Arteta hasn't done, in my eyes, he hasn't done he hasn't a lot done, wrong. Yes. Don't say he hasn't done anything wrong. But he's learning. He's learning on the job. He's a new manager. But someone would say an Arsenal manager, even with us as a Manchester United fan, they'd say a manager for Manchester United or even Arsenal is not supposed to be learning on the job. You're already supposed but to But unfortunately, the, those, are the, those are the managers that they've chosen. As, as, like, <laughs> as like fans, we didn't get to choose the managers that they put in. Yeah. They chose those fans, and we have been forced to, like, you know what, to ride out with it. So, and our is not that bad. Yeah, today. final thoughts. You think it's gonna he happen? He ain't buying Arsenal unless he gets someone to help him. Because <laughs> I would, he's not a broke boy, but he does not have the financial capacity to fund to that so. by himself. Yes. And yeah, Glazer's out, Kronka out. That's what we we're with, and you think you, you guys? Your niggas are, aren't getting yeah, out. Man, I know they won't. Do, do you know that they survived? Out. Like uh, when they first put the club, they survived those protests. Like, bro, the places have the stomach to do this. So that's why I'm like, I'm hoping that they get out. But in all reality, I'm like, no, nah, he's doing you. Yeah. So, yeah. um, thinking you. 
do you think you guys are gonna win? What? Uh, you know, it's the week, ma'am. No, no it's the intervention. <laughs> it's the best intervention. And he's gonna be like, good evening. And he's gonna be the boogeyman. I swear, he's about he's to be gonna the come back man. to the dressing room. Good evening. Oh my god, I he's told like, you. You see LeBron, what he did. Yeah. You see what LeBron did to that, like, to, to that Miami Heat owner. That's yeah. what's gonna happen to us now. Ah, we're losing. Ah, it's straight out. Straight out. If it's not an owl, then hey. <laughs> but I will. You're I hoping will... for the best. But no, you're you preparing for the you... worst. I don't prepare. I know. <laughs> That's facts. I know. I don't prepare. The... Stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. I watched That's that Villarreal fact. defense last. In the last game. I wasn't convinced. But... <laughs> any, any. Let me tell you something. Any team can shine against Arsenal. But with yeah, Mari in the defense, it's very hard. Mm. So, yeah, guys. Uh, Mari is not the only person that's in our defense, first of all. But as long as he's there, I'm. I, I'm is not there. I, Shaka can kind of be. <laughs> that hot head, he him. might get a red card. Yeah. So they guys, might push his button so they get a red card. So, guys. Thank you guys for watching and yeah it, it was a great conversation and yeah you know what please subscribe to the channel thank you guys for watching leave a comment down below and i'm out why are we out okay we are out guys why we, are, we out. are out i'm out we are out i'm out okay we're out guys do you know that's not